Tony's passing on guard, and I know they're gonna pass my guard. I always try to keep my hands connected and my elbows in tight. If you get in trouble when your hands are like this, my face, and you see this, this is a really bad position for you to be in. This is gonna be really hard to escape if the guy's got really heavy top pressure. It's gonna be really hard. So go back. So let's say he's, he, he's coming in and he's like, go back in my guard. Like, go down there by my feet. So let's say he's coming around my legs and he's coming in to pass my guard like this. No, no, guard pass, not leg locks. Guard pass me, like to side control. So look, come down, connect. See this, see where my hands are? He's not really laying on me so much now because he's on my arms. So he's gonna, uh, he doesn't have a, a whole lot of control here. Um, one way to do this and one way that I like is from here, I'm gonna get my feet underneath me and I can use this form to start to bump it. See how I do, did a little bump here? Get his weight off, so watch, stay heavy on me. Because my arms here, it's really hard for him. I can bump him just a little bit. The arm's gonna slip in and come here. Now he lost the underhook. Now as much as he tries to put his weight on me, I just stay heavy, don't turn your hips, you're gonna get sweat. But he does this, and now I just start uppercutting this arm and start doing little, little scoots. Now I can come in and get this underhook. But the first thing I like to do, see this hand on his hip? So if he tries to like continue to put his weight on me, like, yeah, it's gonna be hard. So I'm gonna get on my side as much as possible, tucking my hand. I'm gonna reach down and grab this leg. So I pull this foot up in the air. I got this. I'm gonna hook this foot with my, my leg. Now watch, my bottom leg is gonna drive in and put a bend in his knee. At this point, he's probably gonna uh, wizard me because if he doesn't, I'll, I'll take his back. Now watch what I do from here. I'm gonna reach under and grab this foot. Then this foot, hand floats over here, grabbing the foot, grabbing his knee. Now watch, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna scissor my legs and pulling his. Now I got control of his legs. I move around to the side, forcing him to his back. So again, as he's passing me, I just go here. And I let him just smash my arms. Now he has no like, he doesn't have any control of my, uh, my body or my arms so much. Now I just get my feet underneath me and I do a little oompa. I go here and bring this arm in, in, inside. He may try to cross face me with the, the look, I start tucking my head inside more and more and more so I can grab this foot, lifting it up, hooking it, coming here. Then the other hand gets this foot, feed it to this hand, hug the leg. Now watch, my leg scissor as I push, him, push his knee and then come around and pass the guard. So one more time. The key to this is not to let him separate my elbows. He's here, I'm in a strong position. I get on my feet, I bump, this arm comes out. See this? Now from here, I start to tuck my head. Come in here, grabbing the foot, lifting it, hooking it. Now, from here, I hook this foot, trapping this foot, hugging at the knee, scissoring my legs, coming on top, and passing the guard.